Grilling Chicken Nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey, kiddos, it's so great to see your little angel faces. Aren't y'all excited for Christmas? I can't, I can't even describe how excited I am. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. Besides National Nacho Day, it's probably my favorite holiday ever. But when it comes to holidays, it could be one of the most stressful times of the year. I mean, think about all the things you have to do on Christmas. You gotta clean the house, make a ton of food, buy presents, wrap those presents, then go back to the store because you forgot your cousin Keith is visiting from Milwaukee. Write thank you notes, shovel snow, eat the shovel snow. You know, it's just so much. And you know, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. It's just all so crazy. I just, I just feel like I need to take a deep breath. It's just getting my head all fuzzy. It's cute, it's fuzzy. Um, Carl? Hello? Carl, are you there? Oh, hi kids! Have you seen Carl? I was supposed to meet him here and I don't see him anywhere. I have a gift for him. Gift? Linda? Linda! Hi y'all, it's my friend Linda! Carl, you scared me! What happened? Where were you? Oh, me? I was just uh, down there. On the floor? Why? Well, to be honest, I think I'm getting a little stressed out. Really? Why? Well, it's just a lot. What is? Christmas! There's just so much to focus on. It's making me a little flustered. Flustered? Yeah, flustered. Like a duck at a supermarket. Well, I don't know about that, but I bet I have something that can help you become unflustered. You have ice cream? No, but I do have a gift for you. Look down. What? <gasps> Beef jerky? How'd you know I used this as a deodorant? Um, I didn't. I just knew you liked it. <laughs> anyway, did that gift make you feel better, Carl? It sure did. It's like the stress just all faded away. <laughs> the power of jerky. <laughs> well, I'm glad because that's what Christmas is all about. Wait, Christmas is all about beef jerky? I knew it! No, oh, that's not what I meant. You see, we were all given a gift a long time ago that brought the whole world something very special. All right, Linda, tell me what we're talking about. Well, for the past couple of weeks, we've talked about everything that's been leading up to the birth of who? Jesus, of course, it's so exciting. It really is. So Joseph and Mary were heading to Bethlehem and they tried to get a room at an inn. Is an inn kind of like an old motel? Exactly, but guess what? The inn had no more rooms and Mary was about to give birth to Jesus. Oh no, so what'd they do? The person in charge of the inn told them that they can stay in the cave-like space below the inn. It wasn't quite a room, but it was something, I guess. Isn't that like where they kept all the animals and stuff? It is. The animals needed shelter from the cold at night, so they would be gathered up there sometimes. It wasn't an ideal space for a family, especially a mother who was about to have a baby. But Mary and Joseph didn't have anywhere else to go, and something amazing was about to happen. <laughs> wow, I bet you they're pretty nervous to be in a messy situation like that. Man, cold too. Too bad they didn't have any family or friends to talk to. Well, believe it or not, just nearby, there were a few shepherds in a field taking care of their flock. Oh cool, so they saw Joseph and Mary? Even better, an angel appeared to them. And they were told not to be afraid because the angel had come to give them good news. <laughs> I love good news. Me too! The angel told them that the Savior had been born and that they can find him nearby in the manger. Then they said something that was truly good news. You can read about it in Luke chapter 2, verse 14. They said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Wow, that is amazing! What a gift! What do you mean, gift? 
I mean, listen to them. I mean, they're praising God and telling them that God's peace is going to be with them. What a gift. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Carl. Wow, this really helps me understand that Christmas is just so much more than gifts. More than cleaning and food and family. It's about knowing that God sent Jesus to be our Savior and giver of peace. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Life can certainly get busy and stressful, but when we remember why Jesus came for us, life can feel like something we can manage. And then we can start to feel peace. Now, just like your gift made me feel better, I feel like the peace that Jesus has given me has made me feel even better. Like, true joy. Man, I wish everyone could feel like this. That's the cool thing, Carl. They can. Everyone can feel just how you're feeling now. Mm, really? How? Well, once people begin to understand who Jesus is and why he came, then people all over the world will receive the same joy. All over the world? Of course. I mean, the gift Jesus gives is free to everyone. To you, to me, to people who live in Europe, Asia, Africa, all the Americas, and even Antarctica, Carl. Wow, I never thought about that before. I'm just so glad that Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Well, you heard it from Carl. Our big idea for today is Jesus came to bring peace to the world. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus came to bring peace to the world. Woo! Great job, kids. I hope you all had as much fun learning about the birth of Jesus as I did. Merry Christmas, everyone. Or as we Koreans might say, Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Rock.